collectors. I go 20 on that. You said 15 on this one. I thought you were holding that one. No, this one. Okay, 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 okay. All right. Yeah. You need a bag or you good? No, it's good. I'm easy. Hello, it's your boy Ronnie Bizzle coming to you with another garage sale right along video from beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't subscribed and please tell your friends hit that subscribe button. The more subscribers I get, the more views and it'll make your boy very, very happy. Anyways, for this first uh, garage sale, I had to do a voiceover because there was some uh, copyrighted music being played. So... I didn't want that music to be on there, and you know the deal. Anyways, um, this is a really cool garage sale. She had a, um, a lot of really good stuff, and um, but this is one of them right here that I actually missed out on. This is a, a Robin Hood Air Flex game. I actually looked it up when I was uh, editing this video, and I saw this go for like over $100 brand new, so I'm sure I could have got 50 or 40 for it. So. Not sure why I skipped over. She had three of them, as you can see. So, uh, yeah, big mistake there. Um, I guess I could have gone back and see if she had it today. But, I don't know. Anyways, what I did pick up is these uh, vintage magazines. Um, I did not image pick up those vintage magazines. <laughs> Anyways, um, looking around here, trying to find something, trying to find value. I'm always looking for unusual things. Um... This leap uh, pad will come in handy here. I will actually be eventually buying it. Anyways, yeah, I want to know the price of those magazines. Um, I like to pick up old magazines from like the 90s if it's an unusual topic like this one, which is uh, model railroads. And he wanted a dollar for these. I actually negotiated down for five bucks for the entire lot. So yeah, he accepted it. And what my plans to do is probably sell that as a lot. So look for those uh these magazines, old magazines with an unusual like topic, like railroad, model railroads. Anyways, this next thing I picked up was this Leapfrog. This was an, an entire system here. Um, she had the games, she had books, um, and the Leap Pad, uh, like I guess it's a uh, laptop type of deal. So yeah, I was talking to her about if it's complete. She said yes, and I asked her if it worked. And as you'll see here in a minute, she's gonna come over and. Um, test it for me but she had like um 11 games there uh different types and she had a couple of books and um i know the leapfrog brand here she is coming to test it out here she's gonna press the button and yep she did press the sound there's some sound that came out of there so i assumed it worked uh she wanted 25 dollars for this and i took i paid the 25 dollars i didn't even negotiate this i probably should have but um i know the the leapfrog uh brand can go for some serious money so I know, I think, I was thinking I'm heading go for like $100. Anyways, this next thing I picked up are these uh, Dean Coots um, audiobooks. I know that uh, audiobooks, not individually, will sell for good money. But if you find an author and, and sell them as a lot like this one, she, she had four of these. So um, they're a dollar each. And I'm probably going to sell this as a lot. Um, this is probably go for like $20, maybe $40. So yeah, I picked up. But I did pretty, pretty well at this garage sale. Still kicking myself for not picking up those Robin Hood Air Flicks, like, building sets. Because, um, as you saw, she had three of them. But, you know, you live and learn, and you make mistakes. I still make mistakes in garage sales. I'm always learning. So, you know, what can you do? So, but I think the stuff that I got, I think it would do well. That Leapfrog and the Dean Coots uh, audio, audio books should do really, really well. So anyways, uh, that's going to be it for this part of the garage sale. And now, I think we're going to go back to normalcy and let the garage sales play. So here we go. Thank you for listening, and don't go away. Here's some more garage sales. Good morning. No, you mean Good morning. Yeah, no. Mm -hmm. We wish. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we're trying to get a PS5. We can't yeah, right? get a PS5. Right? Yeah, everything's so, cool. So, the whole entire season. Um, six. Okay. Six, 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 six
How much ask you for the DVDs? Um, the, the seasons are six. Each? Each one? Are these uh, are these DVDs six dollars too? And the yeah. I mean, I mean we can we can if you get a few of them, I can go down to five each. Okay. Just because it's not like you know a single DVD, it's like the whole season. Yeah, you know? I get it. How much are the video games? Okay. Is it the same um, price? Two dollars each? Are the computer games $2 too? Yeah. Okay. So. Oh, you have it. They're going to have it. Right. Would you take five for these three? Um, oh, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I, appreciate, I appreciate it. Yeah. 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 Here you go. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you want both of them? Okay. Five bucks for both? Okay. Two bucks a piece. Okay. 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 Yeah, for you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> for you today, okay. How much for the jacket? Uh, I'll go 20 on the leather coat. Uh -huh. What happened, my friend? Huh? What happened, my friend? Time to move. Move, move. Yeah, move. Yeah. This is my mom. Would you take 15 for this? Yeah. Alright, I appreciate it. Yep. Thank you. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, that, that's his bag. Sorry. You need to... Yeah. 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 Yo creo que sí lo voy a entender, hermano. ¿Qué es esto? Dime cuatro. Ahí están, ahí están. 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 Ahí están, 
the dealio we call it the cords. Okay, so they're together, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So, oh, you 20, right? Um, no, good. You, held the, you held that coat up when you said 15. Oh, which this one? This is a collector's. I go 20 on that. You said 15 on this one. I thought you were holding that one. No, this one. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Yeah. You need a bag or you good? No, it's good. I'm easy. Did you see the signs on the road out there? Yeah, I saw them out there. Cool. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. No problem. Thank you. Do you want to turn your back? No, you can take the whole drink. Right. Have a good day. You too. All right, everybody. Just got back from Friday morning garage selling. Today was uh, kind of a, a weird day. Um, there wasn't really much out there, um, but I still managed to go out and find some stuff. Um, today was just weird because, as many of you guys know, I went back to work um, at my other job as a poker dealer. And I'm actually working like swing shit, working nights. So went to work last night at 8 p.m., got off at 3 a.m., and it's about a 30-minute drive from where I work to where I, where I live. So I got home about 3.30 Kind of settled in, went to bed at 4 o'clock. Woke up at 7 o'clock because my wife had to go to work today. And um, decided, I was I was like on the fence about going garage sale today. But then I, then I had felt this like rush of adrenaline. So I said, I'll go. And uh, yeah, so the first like two, three yard sales, I felt this really rush of adrenaline. I was really on just going at adrenaline going at adrenaline going trying to go with these garage sales but by the time i got to the fourth fifth or sixth i felt the adrenaline kind of uh, slow down so when i finished the six yard sale, which i didn't buy anything i said this is it i'm gonna go home so i went home that being said i'm a little tired right now after i record this part i'm gonna go take a quick nap and get ready for because i gotta go to work again tonight so anyways after all that i still got some pretty decent stuff wasn't great um, in fact, I only, um, bought stuff from three out of the six, uh, garage sales I went to this morning. So let me show you what I got. Um, I think one is a potential home run. Everything else is kind of bread and butter. So let's look at what we got. All right, guys. The first thing I got was these, uh, 5.0 wireless headset and transmitter. Um, it's complete. It's new in the box. I think it just needs to be cleaned up a little bit. Um, I'm not sure if it has any value. Uh, I paid five bucks for it, but I just bought this because it's just unusual. It looks just something I've never ever seen before. So paid five bucks for this. Um willing to take a shot. Even if it's not worth anything, hopefully I can double my money or at least get my money back. But um these things I just you know took a shot and uh, we'll see what happens. But these are like I said, TV ears, wireless headset. All right, bought these uh four um CD like audiobooks. Uh, I bought these because they're a dollar each. And uh, the author is a pretty popular author. It is Dean Koontz. So Dean Koontz is kind of like a um, Stephen King-ish kind of a uh, writer. Anyways, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell this as a lot. I got to verify that all the discs are in here. But I'm, I paid a buck each for these. Looking to get maybe 20 bucks for uh, the whole set. So um, audiobooks, like individually, don't really sell well. But if you find... Um, audiobooks, a lot of audiobooks from the same author, you can always lot them up and get good money for that. That's probably the best way to sell audiobooks. I love selling old magazines, especially from like topics, from unusual topics and stuff that are just weird. And this is a uh, great model railroad. I've never ever heard of the magazine. So that's why I, I was intrigued. And I saw this from 1991. I think they're all from 1990. No, actually, 1991, 98, 97, 96, 94. So yeah, um, this is a, I got I got this for five bucks total. Um, what I'm gonna do, again, the best way to sell something that's not individually, you have to sell them as a lot. And in garage sales, you can usually pick this up pretty cheap. Five bucks here, I got like 11, I think I got 11. Let me see here, oh, I got 10. So 50 cents each. Got to lock these up. There's somebody out there who likes model railroads and will buy this. So once again, this is going to be lotted and hopefully I can get some pretty decent money for it. So look out for these old unusual magazines or magazines that that is an unusual topic, a weird topic like 
model railroads, like sign languages, something just unusual, something out of the box, something that like you don't want to get sports magazines. You don't want to get like business magazine because those are like like um, Diamond does. There's a ton of them out there. But just if it's if it's a weird subject, like an unusual subject, pick them up. All right, this one yard sale, this lady had all they had these video games and uh, DVDs. Um, she had, as you saw, she had like a set of like Smallville and some other TV shows, but she wanted like six, five bucks for each. And um, when I did the, uh, when I looked up on my phone, what I would have paid for it, even if I negotiate down to like three or four dollars, the profit wasn't going to be there as well what I want. Um, so I skipped it, but I did pick up a couple of, um, Video games, this is the two PlayStation games. Um, these are not very valuable. Uh, Hitman, PlayStation. I got a Kill Zone for PlayStation 2. And I got this uh, Civilization um, PC game. I paid five bucks for the entire lot. And uh, I know like this one is, is worth $10. So this one alone would get my money back. And I got to look up these two and see what they're worth. But, you know, for five bucks, you know, if I get like maybe... 20 to 30 bucks for everything here i'll be super happy oh and one thing about these these are like these are easy easy to store and easy to ship stick them in a bubble mailer stick a um postage stamp on it and head it out the door all right i got this really cool leather jacket it's from planet hollywood this is not from the casino planet hollywood this is from the uh, restaurant i don't know if you guys are familiar with the uh, planet hollywood restaurant they're like they're there's like a movie themed um I think Sylvester Stallone and some other people started. I don't know if he still owns it. But anyway, it's found this really, this, this leather jacket, Planet Hollywood, with the really cool embroidered on the front, really cool embroidered on the back. This is uh, pure leather. Uh, look at the leather here, here. Yep, it is 100% leather. Really cool, really good condition. I don't see any um, blemishes on it. So it's really, really cool. Anyways, the guy wanted 20 bucks for this. I... I Asked for 15 he took it. So this is probably going to be something like a $60, $70 item. So for 15 bucks, if I can turn it to 60 70 bucks, that's a really, really good flip here. So leather jackets. They have a really cool theme. Take a chance. And the final thing that I'm going to show you is probably the best find of the day. I paid up before this. I paid 25 bucks for this. This is the Leap Pad Learning System. And those of you guys who know this, some of these Leap Pad, like stuff can go for really good money. But when I opened it, let me see if I open here, it had all these really cool accessories. All that right here. I mean, you see here, they have all the, the games here. On the left-hand side, there's like uh, 11 games or 11 uh, module games on the left-hand side. It has this thing right here, my first Leap Pad. It has um, all these books. Hop, all these, there's like one, two, three, I don't know, it's like 10, like... Uh, games here or whatever this thing that oh it goes and goes into this uh system which is the actual leapfrog um like the, the laptops right here and uh, it was tested it does work so i know these leap goes for pretty good money and uh i had a chance to do a little bit of research while there or or in the past i've done research on these and i'll go these go for pretty good money i think now i could be wrong i can probably get between 75 and $100, 125 for the system. Um, I don't see any cosmetic blemishes. Um, so I think this is a really, really cool, cool find. And I'm going to sell this whole thing as a lot. So hopefully, um, I'm going to test it out, of course, and see if everything works. But like, but it powers up. I'm going to see with the, with the games and these little books here. Hopefully, um, um, I can get between 75 and 125 maybe more. We'll see. Anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Um, like you saw, not too much uh quantity but a lot of quality i'm really happy with everything i got i spent around like 60 bucks for everything that you saw so if i sell that leap pad um learning system i should be able to get my money back so pretty happy with everything i got anyway that's gonna be it for this video i think i'm gonna go take a quick nap before i go back to work <laughs> anyways if you like this video please hit that subscribe hit that like button if you like this video and want to see more of these type of videos, hit that subscribe button, hit that alert button so you know when these new videos are going to come out. And if you want to spread the word of your boy, Ronnie Bizzle, share it with your friends. Anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video for Ronnie Bizzle. Thanks for watching, everybody.